Hello, welcome. Today's video is going to be so much fun because today I am going to be sharing with you seven different fragrances that I think Bath & Body Works should make. I've actually been thinking about this for a long time and it all started back in the spring of last year when I had made a Q&A session video where I answer your questions about Bath & Body Works since I used to be a part-time manager there for about six years. And so in that video, somebody had actually asked me a question, what fragrances would I create if I had the chance to make my own Bath & Body Works fragrance? And this got me thinking and I had given kind of a quick answer since it was a long video answering lots of questions. So ever since I received that question, it's constantly been on my mind during downtime or when I'm trying to fall asleep or just comes to me as random shower thoughts. I curate these fragrance ideas in my mind and I even can kind of like visualize what they might look like on the bottles. So that is exactly what I've been working on. So what I did is I actually thought of fragrances that I would enjoy wearing, but also fragrances that I think Bath & Body Works has an opportunity in, you know, maybe things that they don't make very often or scent notes that I just feel like they kind of skip over or don't make enough sense of. So besides making up fragrance names and notes for these scents, I've also gone online and found an AI picture generator so that I was able to make little shower gel labels, giving it a description of what kind of picture I want. And then I was kind of able to edit them in and make my own little mock-up shower gels. So besides being able to share with you the name and the notes, I'm going to also share with you those pictures of what they would possibly look like if Bath & Body Works did make them as fragrances. I'm putting this out there now. If Bath & Body Works ever uses one of these fragrance ideas, they better let me know. I love all seven of these fragrances and I would wear any of them. So if they do use that, that would be very cool, but I would also want the credit for it. <laughs> So let's not waste any more time and let's jump into the seven fragrances that I think Bath & Body Works should make. The way that I enjoy using fragrance is very seasonal. I like it when my fragrance matches whatever season or whatever weather we're experiencing. And so like in the fall, I love having those classic autumnal scents, pumpkins, apples, caramel, coffee, you know, all of those fragrance notes that are stereotypical fall. So the way I've done these is I've made all of them quite seasonal. I think there's only maybe one or two that could kind of be an ambiguous season, but let's start with the one winter fragrance that I made. All right, fragrance number one. I titled this one Snow-Capped Pines. And as you can see here, I have made it kind of a frosty blue, green, snowy kind of themed scent. I know this is kind of 2008 or something like that, but I kind of wanted it to look like Twilight vibes. I was thinking of pine trees, with all of the snow on them and kind of the mountains, maybe in a dreary place like Washington. Um, but yeah, snow-capped pines. I wrote down all the fragrance notes on my phone, so if I'm looking down, I'm just reading that. But the notes for snow-capped pine would be fresh mandarin, sweet vanilla mint, wintergreen, balsam needle, and evergreen sap. So I feel like Bath & Body Works kind of has a missed opportunity with tree scents. I feel like Bath & Body Works does such a great job encapsulating pine trees in a lot of their home fragrance scents. You know, we've got fresh balsam, evergreen, vanilla balsam, under the Christmas tree, so on and so forth, and just every kind of tree scent you can think of. But for body care, I don't know if people just don't normally want to smell like pine trees, but I do. I think it would be great to smell like a Christmas tree or a pine tree in the winter. It's nice because they're zippy and they're fresh and clean Clean, but they also have kind of an outdoorsy, rich, warm smell to them as well that's kind of unique just for tree scents. I think to help it translate into a body care fragrance, even better to add those kind of citrusy notes to kind of make it a little more juicy. And then adding mint will also make it a little more frosty and cool smelling as well. I feel like a lot of these notes actually are quite similar to Twisted Peppermint, except for Twisted Peppermint is more of a candy cane forward fragrance. And the balsam notes in it are almost unrecognizable. It's very subtle in the background that just kind of helps make it a blended fragrance that's not just candy cane scent. But with this fragrance, I want it to be like mainly pine tree with just a little dusting of mintiness in the background. I think if I were to compare it to a fragrance that already exists, I would compare it to this Philosophy body wash that is called Wondrous Winter. It also has kind of those citrusy notes paired with the wintergreen and the tree smell. So I think that if I were to compare it to anything, it would smell the most like this but then we need to sneak in that vanilla mint to make it a little more sweet, just a little bit. All right, the next fragrance up, fragrance number two is Lavender Lemonade. Once again, I feel like there's some missed opportunity by Bath & Body Works in both the lavender department and the citrus department. I know seasonally they do lots of citruses like in the summer and spring usually, and lavender, they do have their bases covered in the aromatherapy section, but nothing quite like this blend that I have in mind. The fragrance notes on this one would be aromatic lavender sprigs, fresh mint leaf, 
sugared lemon juice, and honey syrup. You will notice with a lot of these fragrances, I am a gourmand person, so I always want them to have a little bit of sweetness in it, no matter what the scent is. I think the picture that the generator made for a lavender lemonade is so pretty. I just wanted it to be kind of a simplistic lavender field so that you know that it's like a lavender heavy scent with lemons kind of being the little pairing that goes with it. But in this fragrance, I really want the lavender and the lemon to be true to themselves. I feel like oftentimes when you get lavender in a Bath & Body Works fragrance, they water it down and blend it with so many other floral notes, it just kind of turns into something else. I want this to be like that kind of rich, intense lavender scent that you get when you walk by a real bush of lavender outside. And then same thing with the lemons. I feel like most Bath & Body Works lemon scents are paired with florals and so it kind of gives it more of a cleaner kind of scent, which isn't bad, but it's not really what I want to go for. I want to go more for the edible type of lemon, something really juicy. If I were to compare it to a fragrance that already exists, I think it would be most similar to one of my favorite scents of all time, Lavender and Spring Apricot. This was from a spring collection many years ago, around 2000. 16, 17 kind of time. I love this fragrance because it has a nice blend of herbaceous, but also sweet and fruity. Besides apricot, this scent also has some apple in it, which I really think pairs nicely with the lavender, and it helps kind of bring more of that fruitiness on the plate, which is also kind of what I would wish for if I had a lavender lemonade scent. All right, we're starting to move more towards the summery scents. This one could be kind of a season neutral scent. It's not too seasonal compared to my other ones. This fragrance is actually more inspired by the Heartland era and the 19. 90s kind of kids packaging that they had that collection called art stuff I so wish that they would make collections for kids like they used to because the packaging is just so much fun And the scents are a little more simplistic I find and even though they're geared more towards kids I still feel like adults like myself included would actually take a lot of joy out of using that if you've been watching my videos for a while You'll know that I am super into nostalgia I grew up in the 90s and the early 2000s and I really take all of that y2k nostalgia very seriously And so that is mainly the inspiration behind this scent and this scent is called Groovy Grape Jam. <laughs> heavily, heavily inspired by the Art Stuff collection. With this packaging, I tried to give it all of the 90s vibes. I know that kind of imagery of planets was really popular then, but I also wanted it to be very kid-friendly and playful. If this fragrance ever existed, it would be a requirement that it has to come in body glitter as well. So the notes for Groovy Grape Jam would be Sweet Jam, Plump Concord Grapes and Mirabelle Plum. I toned it down on the notes because a grape jelly is kind of its own distinct smell. Like you know what it smells like. The moment you hear Concord Grape, like you just know what that smells like and you don't need a bunch of other things to kind of compare it to. But also once again, relying on the fact that it's kind of geared towards kids, I wanted it to be more of a simple fragrance. I actually noticed that these next three fragrances would all go really well together in their own collection as one, and it's kind of themed on like carnival stuff, which I feel like would be good for a late summer, early fall kind of theme. And I know last summer they actually kind of did this around semi-annual sale, late summertime. They had the cotton candy, bubble gum, they had cinnamon sugar donut and the orange vanilla twist. I love the carnival idea and so I kind of took that and ran. So this one is more on the summery side, but I feel like they need to make one called Blue Raspberry Slush. This one also I feel like could be marketed towards kids really well. When they have those bright vibrant colors, I've just imagined them in those little triangle bottles like from the Art Stuff collection. The notes on this one sound so good. It makes me want to eat it or drink it or something. But this one has notes of frozen pineapple, maraschino cherries, lemon lime fizz, and pureed tart raspberries and blackberries. Nothing quite hits like frozen artificial fruit flavors. <laughs> so this packaging on the blue raspberry slush is so much fun. I think I had typed in something like a blue raspberry slushy surrounded by tropical fruit or something like that. Um, I think I asked it specifically to have a pineapple and some cherries in it as well. So the AI generator kind of made that little fun fruit basket situation for us. And then you can kind of see the top of the slushy with the straws in it as well. I just love that, it's so pretty. If I were to compare this one to fragrances that already exist, there's two of them that come to mind actually. I would think that it might smell similar to this Happy Easter Tutti Fruity candy scent that they made last Easter. This one's got a little bit of that artificial candy smell I'm looking for, but this one's a little more citrus heavy. And while the blue raspberry slush would have citrus notes in it, I feel like this one is more citrusy than the blue raspberry would be. Even closer, I feel like it would smell like firecracker pop. This one also has notes 
notes of berries and citrus in it, but it also has that cherry in it. This one says red cherry. For the cherry note, I chose maraschino cherries because I almost want it to be like that unrealistic, not real fruits that come out in a syrup bottle kind of scent. And so maraschino cherries do remind me of that and they're so unique and I just think that would smell so good. Okay, keeping within the boardwalk carnival fair kind of theme and also keeping more on the summery side of things, I chose to make a fragrance called Carnival Banana Taffy. I just really need a good banana scent. The last time we had a fragrance with banana in it, it was a couple years ago and it was Tropical Cabana Belize. That was the last time I remember having a banana fragrance and I actually really did enjoy that one, but I need more banana. It wasn't enough banana for me. The banana scent that comes to mind is actually one that Avon had made back in, I don't know, the early 2000s or the 90s or something like that. But that banana one smelled so good to me and I remember that as a kid and they used to have like these squishy lids on the inside and I used to always like squish the lid and just like smell the puffs of banana air. <laughs> Weird fragrance related childhood memories. But I don't know, that memory just really stuck with me from when I was a kid and I haven't experienced a really good banana scent since then. So for the banana taffy scent, I tried to get the AI generator to make a picture of a shop that's along the boardwalk that sells saltwater taffy and I think it did a pretty good job. I want it to be summery, but I don't want the coconut to take over on this one. Sometimes when you have a banana fragrance, they often pair it with coconut like I did. I want it to be banana first, coconut more as a afterthought kind of situation to help it translate into a body care scent. I want it to smell sugary and candy as well. A while back, Bath & Body Works had made a hand cream that was banana custard. I don't want it like that. That one almost had a little bit of a chocolatey or a gourmand rich vanilla-y fragrance. I don't want it to be rich and gourmand. I want it to be fruity and fun and candy-like, if anything. So the notes on Carnival Banana Taffy would be banana puree, cotton candy sugar, slow pulled saltwater taffy. Yes, I wanted to have saltwater taffy. A little bit of saltiness would be so much fun. And then coconut milk as a light hint. Besides Belize and the Avon fragrance I mentioned, if I were to compare it to anything, maybe it would be the closest to this one called Havana. This is from the year 2019 and I feel like not enough people talked about it. It kind of came quickly and then it went quickly as well. But this is Havana Tropical Vanilla and Cherry Moya. And a Cherry Moya is pretty much a cross between a banana and a pineapple. Pineapple is a good idea in a banana fragrance too. But once again, I don't want it to turn into like what Belize was, I want it to be Bananas. Really obvious bananas. All right, we're starting to move towards the autumnal smells. This one would still also make for a really great carnival themed fragrance if they were to all kind of go in a collection. It would be that transitional fragrance that gets you from summer into fall. And that one would be caramel dipped apples. I love the scent of caramel apples. So this watercolor painting that the caramel dipped apples packaging had, I'm imagining that it's a festival in Vermont that is dedicated to welcoming fall. And they sell at this booth little Carameled apples. <laughs> and once again, they do have it in home fragrance, but not often enough do they have carameled apple or any apple scents really in body care that I truly feel are good, pure apple scents. They have country apple kind of on the floral side. They also have champagne, apple, and honey. That one actually is quite strong on the champagne part, and it's a little bit more of a fizzy, bubbly, feminine kind of fragrance. I don't want that. I want it to be like fresh, crisp orchard apples. Also, I feel like they use caramel as a base note often, but they don't make caramel like a main feature in body care, which I feel like is a missed opportunity as well because I love the smell of caramel as well. Okay, caramel dipped apples would have fragrance notes of brown sugar, buttery caramel cream, hint of sea salt, and tart orchard Granny Smith apples. It's important that it's a Granny Smith apple for two reasons. A, when you're making carameled apples in real life, they actually have a firmness and they kind of retain their quality better than a red apple normally does when you're making caramel apples. But also Granny Smiths are much more tart than regular red apples. So I feel like the tartness of that green apple would pair really well with that salty, sweet caramel cream. The closest fragrance that I can think of that it would smell like is coconut candy apple. This was released fall of 2021 and I think this smells so good. With my body chemistry, this actually does translate almost as a caramel apple scent, but the coconut does kind of make it a little bit more summery into fall than it does like a pure fall autumnal scent. 
All right, I have one last fragrance for you and it is one perfect for fall and it is called Salted Caramel Biscotti. This fragrance was actually inspired by one that they had made many years ago in the fall called Cup of Warmth. This was also a biscotti scent, but it featured chai spices in it. I loved that scent and I would love to see it make a comeback. It's very similar to white pumpkin and chai, but this one I want it to be, of course, a little bit different. I would make the notes for this fragrance be toasted almonds, crunchy shortbread, homemade caramel drizzle, pink Himalayan salt, and hint of orange rind. I feel like that orange rind is really important in there because it really helps change the caramel to be a little bit more of a decadent situation. It's nice to layer in a little hint of a rich citrus as well. I feel like orange and almond also really pair well together and it's just giving the coziest coffee shop vibes and I just want that really bad. All right, and those are my seven fragrances that I would create if I could make my own Bath & Body Works scents. You'll have to let me know down in the comments below which fragrance would you like to see come to life. I hope you had fun because I know I did. It was so much fun to make these scents. If you have any fragrance ideas of your own, you'll have to share them down in the comments below and maybe I can make a mock-up for you of your fragrance idea. Either way, I hope you have a great rest of your week and I will see you next time. Bye.